Joining us in the studio now is Mike Slay, the Macintosh Products Manager with Microsoft, the makers of Excel. Next to Mike is Andrew Wolf, president of Data Tailor Inc., makers of Trapeze. Gary. Mike, the uh, first, I guess the granddaddy of spreadsheets, VisiCalc, was a character-oriented spreadsheet, and uh, there was a major generation change when 1 through 3 came out with graphics and so forth. Now, is the Mac 2 going to be a, is that going to be a generation change also in spreadsheets? Well, I think the Macintosh in general uh, helped that occur. Uh, the whole notion of a graphical user interface with pull-down menus and a mouse and icons uh, led us to sign a spreadsheet Excel that was much more like working with pieces of paper on a desktop and letting you make relations between those pieces of paper, and this just extends that in many nice ways, color, graphics, speed. Uh, uh, Andy, what are your thoughts on it? Well, I see the machine as allowing people to do things they have not been able to do before, work with larger spreadsheets, be able to calculate more complex models, mm -hmm. display more charts, and that is going to improve a lot of people's productivity. Okay. Now, Mike, you have a demonstration for of Excel you can give us, right? That's right. Good. Okay. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, Excel doesn't look much like a traditional spreadsheet. You have not one, but several different worksheets open, and they look like different pieces of paper on your desk, Mike. You can zoom the screen up and work with one or several sheets at a time and build formulas by pointing and clicking, scrolling around the worksheet just by using the mouse. Uh, it's very simple. It's a very large worksheet. It's very fast. It's very easy to work with. It's very easy, for example, to build relationships between worksheets just by pointing and clicking. I can take these two subsidiary spreadsheets and just paste in the names for them and link them to this uh, total spreadsheet and without having to do any complex uh, math or anything I can just enter the formula and it's automatically built so that later if one of these values changes say from 71,000 to a much larger number like 710,000 you see the number is instantly reflected up here in the total spreadsheet and a product like 123 not only couldn't you do that but you couldn't even think about doing it because you could only see one spreadsheet at a time mm -hmm. Uh, in the same way, it's very easy then to take a group of numbers and very quickly open a window that has a graphical representation of those numbers, and that window can then be linked to those numbers, and I'll show you how that works in just a second here. So you can see I have a graph now that rep represents those numbers, and if one of these numbers up here changes to a smaller number, you'll see the graph is instantly redrawn to reflect that change. Uh, mm -hmm. So you get visual feedback, and you can have as many charts or spreadsheets open at a time as you like. It's also very easy to change what the graph looks like. There's a built-in pictorial gallery, another innovation that the Macintosh facilitates that lets you pick between different kinds of charts and have the chart be redrawn in whatever format it is that you'd like to see it in. And so rather than pick from some list of charts, it's very nice to be able to see a pictorial representation of that. Well, one of the nicest strengths of a product like Excel is that it lets you automate things. And what I'm going to do here now is close all those spreadsheets and open what's called a macro. And Excel actually records what you do. It learns what you do and will then play it back. And I'm going to show you an example of something that Excel recorded my actions and turned them into a thing called a macro. And now it's going to automate the process of entering data, which notice it's actually prompting me with this little dialog box, and then asking me to put the data in. And then it takes the data, reformats it, and puts up a chart window of the data without me having to do anything. And that's really what computing is all about. Okay, is yeah, and you, didn't, you didn't have to write the macro. It wrote the macro following what you were doing the yeah, last time. Yeah, before I had just uh, done those same yeah, commands yeah. and it wrote the uh, command lines. You can write it if you like, mm -hmm. but it's very simple to have Excel write it for you, yeah. and you can just go through. Uh, the new machine is going to give us opportunities to make Excel run in color and lots of things to expand the capabilities of it. But since we've introduced the product, we've just had a fantastic yeah. reception to it.